Welcome to Sira Farm where we teach you various types of agriculture. So today we will talk about erysipelas in pigs, causes, signs, and methods of treatment. After watching this video please I want to subscribe to this channel and God bless you. You can also send messages on WhatsApp, Facebook, Gmail because we want to know you and be a partner with you. Let's start today topic. Erysipelas in Pigs Swine erysipelas, is an infectious disease caused by the bacterium erysipelothrix rugiopathy I seen mainly in growing pigs, all pigs over the age of 12 weeks, and characterized clinically by sudden death, fever, skin lesions, and arthritis. Erysipelas in pigs, swine erysipelas, can also be defined an infectious disease mostly of growing or adult swine. It may be clinically inapparent, may cause acute illness involving many animals, or be a chronic disease characterized by enlarged joints, lameness, and endocarditis. Rhomboid skin, diamond skin, lesions are an inconsistent feature only associated with acute cases. Up to 50% of pigs in intensive swine production areas are considered to be colonized with erugiopathii. The organism commonly resides in the tonsillar tissue. This Fever can induce abortion in pregnant gilts and sows. These typical healthy carriers can shed the organism in their feces or oronasal secretions and are an important source of infection for other pigs. Infection is by ingestion of contaminated feed, water, or feces and through skin abrasions. When ingested, the organism can survive passage through the hostile environment of the stomach and intestines and may remain viable in the feces for several months. On farms where the organism is endemic, pigs are exposed naturally to erugiopathy I when they are young. Maternal-derived antibodies provide passive immunity and suppress clinical disease. Older pigs tend to develop protective active immunity as a result of exposure to the organism, which does not necessarily lead to clinical disease. Recovered pigs and chronically infected pigs may become carriers of erugiopathy I. Healthy swine also may be asymptomatic carriers. Although pig farming business is one of the lucrative aspects of animal husbandry or production in agriculture, agricultural business often referred to as agribusiness, certain factors like diseases and others sometimes hinders the optimum performance of the pigs thereby leading to loss to the pig farmer. Regarding erysipelas in pigs, swine erysipelas, stress factors such as overstocking, Mixing pigs after weaning and sudden changes in temperature can trigger clinical erysipelas. Environmental contamination is common because bacteria are excreted via saliva, nasal secretions, faces, and urine. The bacteria can survive for weeks outside the pigs. Learn about pig farming business through Sira Farm 5 ebooks which have helped a lot of farmers and have over 85,000 plus downloaded review on seller.cor view on sellar.com get the book in comments section with free training after payment the ebook will be sent to your email address that is why sellar.co is asking for your email address. My WhatsApp number is inside the ebook for the training. Let continue the video. Causes of erysipelas in pigs. Swine erysipelas, 1. Wet dirty pens, particularly if they are heavily contaminated with faces that contain high numbers of organisms. 2. Wet feeding systems, particularly if milk byproducts are used, can become major sources for multiplication of the organism. 3. Continually populated houses with no all in and all out procedures and disinfection. 4. Water systems that have become contaminated with the organism. 5. Feedback of faces. 6. The movement of pigs involving mixing and stress, particularly when maternal antibody from the sow is disappearing. 7. Sudden changes in temperature and warm summer weather. 8. During warm summer weather when pigs foul their pens. 9. Sudden changes in diet. 10. Common in straw-based systems. 11. Diets that contain fungal toxins, mycotoxins, particularly aflatoxin. 12. Heavy parasite burdens or low levels of coccidia that allow the bacteria to enter through the damaged wall of the intestine. 13. The purchase of non-vaccinated boars or gilts. 
14 virus infections particularly PRRS and SI. Clinical signs of erysipelas in pigs, swine erysipelas, possible clinical manifestations are cutaneous erythema. Including characteristic diamond-shaped lesions, septicemia, arthritis, and endocarditis. Erysipelas is a common cause of carcass condemnation at abattoirs. Diagnosis is by bacterial culture from fresh tissues, fluid, or blood or by molecular testing, i.e., demonstration and identification of erugiopathy. According to research, the onset is sudden. Usually the disease is confined to two or three animals in any one outbreak although in the non-vaccinated herd 5 to 10 percent of animals could be affected any one time. Can be so mild that it goes unnoticed. Diagnosis slash treatment of erysipelas in pigs, swine erysipelas, erugiopathy I is susceptible to beta-lactam antibiotics, and penicillin is the most commonly recommended treatment. Vaccines are generally effective in preventing acute disease. This is determined by the clinical picture, with key features of, inappetence. Very high temperature. Diamond-shaped skin swellings, if the diamond markings are not obvious to the eye they can be felt if the hand is run over the skin of the back or behind the back legs and over the flanks. Post-mortem and isolation of the organism will indicate disease, which is easy to grow in the laboratory. Serology will indicate exposure to the organism but it can only be used to confirm disease if rising titers, 14 days apart, are demonstrated. The interpretation of titer levels, hemagglutination inhibition test 1,4, 1,64 due to vaccination 1,32, 1,3,20 suggests maternal antibody or exposure to the organism 1,6,40 suggests previous infection. A rise in a titer level from 1,320 to 1,280 would suggest active infection. Erysipelas may become a problem in herds where PRRS is endemic. The bacterium alone can cause the disease but concurrent virus infections, such as PRRS or influenza, may trigger large outbreaks and this should be borne in mind in making a diagnosis. SOS 1 Often the only sign is death due to an acute septicemia or heart failure. 2. Restricted blood supply causes. Small raised areas called diamonds in the skin. These are clearly defined become red and finally black, due to dead tissue but no abscesses. Most heal in 7 to 10 days. 3. High temperatures 40 C, 108 F, fever. 4. Obviously ill, although some can appear normal. 5. Often these lumps can be palpated in the early stages before anything can be seen. 6. Stiffness or reluctance to rise indicating joint. Infection, arthritis. 7. Inappetence. 8. Infertility. 9. Skin ulceration. 10. The organism either affects. 11. The joints producing lameness. 12. The heart valves producing growths. Learn about pig farming business through Sira Farm 5 ebooks which have helped a lot of farmers and have over 85,000 plus downloaded review on sellar.co review on sellar.com get the book in comments section with free training after payment the ebook will be sent to your email address that is why sellar.co is asking for your email address. My WhatsApp number is inside the ebook for the training. Let continue the video. Boars Boars infected with erysipelas develop high temperatures and sperm can be affected for the complete development period of 5 to 6 weeks. Infertility is demonstrated by returns, sows not. In pig and poor litter sizes. The important effects of erysipelas in pigs, swine erysipelas, on reproductive failure 1. Sick animals with high fevers. 2. Abortions during acute or subacute disease with ill sows and dead piglets. 3. The death of piglets inside the womb and mummification. 4. Abortions with decomposing piglets. 5. Absorption of embryos and delayed returns. 6. Normal returns if infection occurs immediately post-service. 7. Variable litter size. Weaners and growers commonly the disease is less acute and mild. 1. Sudden death. 2. Acutely ill pigs running high temperatures. 
Three characteristic skin lesions may also be evident as large 10 to 50 mm raised diamond-shaped areas over the body that may turn from red to black. They may be easier to feel than to see in the early stages and often resolve over 7 to 10 days. Four skin lesions may appear but the pigs may not appear to be ill in spite of a high temperature 42 C, 107 F. 5. The organism may settle in the joints causing chronic arthritis and swellings which can be responsible for condemnations at slaughter. 6. Lameness. Additionally, chronic, long-term, changes can occur in pigs challenged with erysipelas and present in three forms, 1. Endocarditis, the development of cauliflower-like lesions on heart valves that leads to death, often sudden, due to heart failure. Surviving pigs are likely to be condemned at slaughter. Other bacteria can cause such lesions, e.g. strep sui. 2. Arthritis, a complicated form of the disease which can be very difficult to control. The difficulties arise because, in most cases, it is not the direct result of infection in joints with the organism. Erysipelas arthritis is what is termed as immune-mediated or hypersensitivity reaction. The most significant factor clinically is that because the arthritis results from an immune-medicated condition, it is not necessarily the case that the acute form of the disease will be seen prior to it. Moreover, it can occur in partially immune animals, i.e. pigs that are already sensitized to the organism, and, thus, can even occur following prior vaccination. 3. Skin necrosis developing in a similar way to the arthritic form in which ischemic damage to the skin occurs, leading to death of the tissues and sloughing of the skin. It can lead to loss of extremities, especially the ears but also scrotum and any other areas. Do you have any questions, suggestions, or other contributions? Kindly use the comment box provided below for all your contributions. You are also encouraged to please kindly share this article with others you feel can benefit from this information if found useful enough as we may not be able to reach everyone at the same time. Thank you so much.